I'm Yuki Fairy, and today I wanted to find out Can I turn this random scribble into a masterpiece? I don't know! Let's find out! Alright, follow me! Alright, I'm going to do this completely with my eyes shut so I can't see anything that I'm doing Alright, I, I don't want to make it too big, I want to make it a squiggle but you know not too abstract so i'm trying to think of something simple okay i'm gonna close my eyes and three two one all right this is what i came up with and let's see what we can do with this digitally let's get started with a few designs okay let's go now let's transfer this to there Oh my gosh! And here we are. All right, let's see what we can do with this digitally. On to the next scene. So before I knew what I was about to draw, I had to do some brainstorming using the squiggle and doing a lot of different drawings. The first one I came up with was like a bun idea and I used the bun to make a girl. And then I sort of came up with like this animal, a cat, just something generic, something simple. Even though I can't draw animals, I was like, why not try it and do something different for once? Yes. And finally, I was like, let me just combine the two ideas together. I was really stuck up on which one to do. So I just decided to like combine them both together and make like a really cute piece with them both. Uh, I put that to the side and then I was like, it's time to start thinking thumbnails. What's the end piece going to look like, guys? So I made this little piece. I was like, maybe she's holding the cat. They're looking really happy. Everything's fine and I just throw on a couple of colors was like hmm this looks good together and this doesn't and yeah this was the moment I was like I I cannot draw, draw animals at all um I really tried so I was like let me just go for a simpler pose where it's just like facing forwards I don't need to do any side positions I made her have like this cat's hairband so they would be matching and I thought that was a really cute idea. Uh, here I was working on the cat's face. I made the eyes a lot bigger which is now quite scary looking back at it. <laughs> and I tried to make the eyes like follow like where the cat was looking so it would look a lot less creepy I guess. With the like the colour palette I just decided to go for pink purples and whites so that it would all kind of be cohesive i also thought it would be like a pretty good color palette so i went ahead with that idea so i was adding in the final touches going in with like an outline around the outside to make the characters stand out a lot more i went with like a simple base in the background but i think in the end i added like text that says meow meow uh, that sounds a bit cringy, and that's because it was, I just, I, I, it was like 3am in the morning, and I was like, okay, I need to make this, I need to spice it up, I need to add something new. But yeah, that's basically it. I know this is a short video and I'm looking to make longer videos in the future. Make sure to check out all my videos down below. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. Bye!